Next, I'm going to pick up a new tool. I'm going to pick up the rib. You notice this rib has a hole in the center. That's actually a place where you grip it. So you can use your thumb and middle finger to grip it, like that. And I'm going to show you the correct position for the rib. <clears throat> We're going to use the rib to, to do the last bit of straightening on the cylinder <clears throat> to tune it up. So this is vertical. So I'm going to turn the rib about 45 degrees this way. So here's vertical. Turn it about 45 degrees this way. And then I'm going to slightly tip it. So if I just touch the rib to the cylinder and just so you can see where it's touching. I don't know if you can uh, see this, but look at the contact point. It's only about as wide as my fingertips. That's the goal for, for the position of the rib. You only want it about as wide, the contact point about as wide as your fingertip. You don't want full contact like this because it'll just grab the rib by your hand. So we're going to keep it vertical, turn it about 45 degrees, and then tip it slightly. On the inside, here's what we're doing in terms of physics. Instead of lifting the bubble, now all we're doing is we're, cre we're creating a back board or a, a place that the rib can press against. So I've got my hand, the long part of my finger, on the inside of the wall of the cylinder. And the rib is going to push in against that. So here's where they're kind of making contact. I'm going to lean over far enough so that I can see the profile of the cylinder while I'm doing this. And, and, and in this case, my goal for this exercise is to make a tall, straight cylinder. So here's what it looks like. I lean over. I begin pressing a bit at the bottom. And I'm just going to watch the cylinder. I push from the inside gently to make the cylinder come out. Or I push with the rib from the outside if it needs to go in. So see what happened there? See this? lovely, thick, gooey stuff, it looks like cream cheese. Uh, that's what you're removing. You're removing excess water from the outside surface of the, the pot, which is going to strengthen it. It's also compressing the clay because we're pressing between inside finger and outside rib. That's going to strengthen it by compressing it. So we're doing two things to strengthen it. We're removing water and doing compression on it. I can go over it one more time if I want, if I need to do any fine tuning. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out, and then we're going to... You know, Cassie, if you have a hand free, can you grab that wire tool off the table for me? Yeah. All right, so it's normal for a cylinder like this. Good, thanks. It's normal for a cylinder like this to have a slightly thicker base. Than, than the rim. Uh, and that's just simple physics, because you need a little extra weight at the bottom to support the, the weight of the, uh, of the rest of the, the wall while you're throwing. But once you're done with the cylinder, we can remove some of this excess weight down here. And here's how you do that. We're going to use a sharpened stick. The sharpened stick is held like a pencil. But instead of holding it like a knife, like this, I'm going to hold it flat. This will make sense in just a second when you see it on the, on the pot itself. I'm going to hold it flat. I'm going to park it in my hand like this. I'm going to spin the wheel, I'm going to take the flat side here, and I'm going to rest the tool on the side of the pot. Just rest it there. Don't get anxious. Just rest. Gently tip the tool until you see it make a groove, about, say about an inch above the base there. See it's starting to make a little groove there? And when you see that little groove form, then tighten up your grip, and then slowly work your way straight down, and we're going to peel away that excess thickness there. See how clean that does? So, if you try to do that as a knife, uh, it doesn't peel away. You see, that's cleaned up that excess thickness. I've also got a ring of uh, gooey clay at the bottom. I can take that, uh, that off by making an off-ramp uh, with my sharpened stick. So I'm going to hold it like this, put two fingers on it like this, so it's sort of like a snow plow. Hey, snow. And then just peel that clay away. See that? Just knock that big goo off there. Last couple of steps. Uh, I'm going to take the sharpened stick. Again, hold it like a pencil. I'm going to tip the cutting edge up, and I'm going to gently push it at the bottom to make a notch. We want about an eighth of an inch bevel at the bottom there. And then we can peel away that gooey stuff. See the bevel, the shadow there that forms? There's a couple reasons to put that in. One is visually it lightens the piece up so it doesn't look quite so stuck to the, to the surface it's sitting on. And secondly, when we glaze this piece, this is a perfect place to stop the glaze <clears throat> when we're glazing so that uh, it doesn't run down and actually touch the, the kiln shelf. So 
this is ready to remove from the wheel. Here's the sequence. I scrape my hands on the bucket, wipe them on my towel, so they're dry. You can wave them in the air to dry them. The idea is we want to create uh, stickiness. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Take the wire tool, <coughs> uh, hold it between your hands like this. See, I've got the uh, wire here. Yank it good and tight. I'm going to wrap uh, about one length around my finger on my right hand side. So I'm making a <clears throat> a taut wire with about, uh, about twice as wide as the, the cylinder. Press down against the wheel head, slowly spin the wheel and slice right through. Then take your damp, dry hands, wrap them gently around the base of the cylinder so they're making lots of contact so there's friction there. Tip the pot until it releases from the wheel and from here you can set it off onto your wear board but I'm going to show you the cross section so you can see what, what to look for. Okay, so this is the cross section. Uh, ideally, you're looking for about a quarter of an inch wall thickness from the floor to the wall. That's your goal, uh, as close to six inches as you possibly can. All right, let me throw one more cylinder without a lot of talk. And you try to figure out what step I'm in each time. Mm -hmm.